So a lot of people are doing creative deals nowadays, right? And I want to speak to you about some of the things you want to look out for as you do a creative deal. Now, when I say a creative deal, I'm talking about something that's just not as typical as collecting rent on a, on a monthly basis. So some people, they may do Airbnb, right? So they'll have in an apartment building, they're gonna take two or three units and they're gonna run Airbnb out of it. Or they are going to maybe convert a two bedroom into a one bedroom. So you're getting a little bit creative with the deal in order to juice the returns and make more money. Great, nothing wrong with doing that. But you want to be careful of doing deals like that because for instance if you're thinking about running an airbnb out of your deal you have to make sure that the property management company is going to be able to do that and most of them are not right so their property management company for apartment buildings that's their specialty they're not specialists in airbnbs airbnbs could have turnover every two or three days. You need somebody to constantly clean that. You're going to have to have the utilities always on for that. And so it's just a little bit of a different model for a property management company. So you want to ask that company if they've done anything like that, if they're comfortable with that. If not, you may want to look into doing um, hiring a third party company to sort of do that thing along with them, which is going to increase your expenses. So as you also try to juice the returns, make sure that you account for the additional expense associated with it. But overall, it's still a great way uh, to make more money out of a property. Also, if, you, if you're doing things like like uh, making more units or even adding on new units, just make sure that you're careful about that. And here's the number one thing I, I want you to know about it. Make sure that your deal works without it. So you don't want to go out and do a deal where, oh, you looked at the deal under the lens of maybe this Airbnb model. Like, oh, I'm going to make so much money with that. But the deal doesn't work any other way, right? Be cautious about doing that because you don't know how lenders are going to view that, right, on your exit. And also, you don't know necessarily that that is um, a successful model already. It's not proven out. So yeah, you can get fancy with it and do it successfully, hopefully, right? But make sure that the deal works how it is. And if you're able to do it, okay, it works. But if you're doing a deal where that's the only way that you can make the numbers work, you might find yourself into some trouble if you haven't explored that or do, done enough due diligence to know that that deal is going to work in that manner. So hopefully you found that helpful. If you did, you go ahead and like the video. Any questions about that, I'm glad to help. So I'll see you in the comment section there. Take care. I'll see you later.